Hey everybody, this is Therese Paler, and you're watching another edition of Chiefs Daily. This is day eight from Chiefs Training Camp here in St. Joe. And uh, you know what? It was a beautiful day, 75 degrees, a little cloudy, picture perfect football weather, couldn't draw it up any better. And uh, look, we had some interesting things happen today. Most interesting of which is Tyree Hill spoke to the media. Now look guys, I can tell you through three days of practice, Tyree Hill's been absolutely killing it. Guy's fast, makes contested catches, blows right by people. Uh, and I think, uh, look, Ty's being real humble right now about how he's performed. He said a whole lot about how he just wants to get better. Um, and also there's the off-field component too. You, he knows that when he was drafted, a lot of people weren't happy about it. So I asked him how he's been received since he came to St. Joe. Check this out. Our fans, man, they've been, they've been great since day one. Like, it's all love out here. I mean, I can't be... I can't be nothing but appreciative to the fans and everybody. So fans have been great to me. Now, one thing I know is that that's not going to be enough to satisfy some people. And that's fair. I mean, people can definitely have their opinions about um, the, the thing he pled guilty to and his off-field issues. But it seems like for the most part, people have been pretty accepting of him here. And he seems pretty, pretty accepted. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Uh, another thing to keep in mind with him, though, is that the guy is really fast. And one man that can attest to that is Marcus Peters. Uh, yesterday, Hill beat Peters on a deep route, clean, ran right past him. And uh, <laughs> Marcus Peters is an honest guy. Check out, this, check out what he had to say about what happened on that route and his thoughts on, Mark, on uh, Ty Hill. All right, so we got a couple of other stories we're working on for you guys. Um, one thing is on D Ford. We noticed a big year for D Ford. He's going to have to play. He's going to have to step up. And I think D Ford knows that. Just check out uh, D Ford's thoughts on what this season means to him and the opportunity that's in front of him. I'm here to do what, I, what, what I've always, um, you know, wanted to do as far as my goals. You know, I wanted to, I see this as an opportunity. You know what I mean? I knew at some point this is where I would be. So for the last, you know, couple of years, I've been working to get, to get to this point. So, you know, this is a chance for me to step up and really show what I can do. All right, and the last thing I've got for you, uh, I wrote a story this morning detailing some of the intricacies of the Eric Fisher deal, his four-year, $48 million extension. Uh, you should go to KansasCity.com to read all of it. I've got, you know, bonus money in there, uh, all kinds of stuff that you, what you want to know. Uh, but there are two key things that you should know about that deal. The first is that the Chiefs don't save a whole lot of money up front this year. It's about 200000 That's not much. And they still have the least amount of cap room in football at about 430000 But one thing to keep in mind is that next year they saved about $2.4 million on the salary cap, and every little bit helps. Uh, another thing is that people have been asking, when can we get out of the deal? When can the Chiefs get out of the deal? Basically, the way it's structured, the Chiefs can get out of the deal before the 2000. Uh, 19 season. So it looks like Eric Fisher is going to be a mainstay here for at least the next three seasons. And if he lives up to his immense promise, a lot longer than that because the deal runs through 2021. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Continue to go to KansasCity.com for all your Chiefs news. For the star, I'm Therese Paler signing off. I'll see you guys Friday.